Hello Central family, I'm Dale Ring. Just want to take a couple of minutes to go through a passage that God gave me a few years ago. It's very special to me. This is in Isaiah 43. I'm going to read uh, 1 through 4, skipping the last part of verse 3. But now, O Israel, the Lord who created you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Others died that you might live. I traded their lives for yours, because you are precious to me, you are honored, and I love you. So when God gave this passage to me originally, it was many years ago, and it was a time, frankly, when I was pretty discouraged because my life did not look like what I was seeing and reading in Scripture. And so I thought maybe that's just what life is. You just kind of go day to day and hang on to what you have until God takes you home to heaven. And that's really where your hope is. And that's kind of where Israel was about to be when Isaiah spoke this prophecy to them. They were just years away from captivity and exile. And at that point, um, God knew that they would need this message of encouragement. So he, so he gave it to them here. And this message is extremely personal. Listen again to the words that God uses here. I have ransomed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Others died that you might live. You are precious to me, and I love you. So many of you, I know right now, have been in the house uh, with your young children and probably don't care to hear your name, mom or dad, one more time um, after all these weeks. And then there are those of you like me whose kids are all grown and aren't in the house anymore. And, Boy, you would give anything just to hear that young voice say mom or dad one more time. And God here calls us specifically by name. He tells us here by the way of a promise to Israel that he's got us. Does it matter whether we're barely treading water in a flood of difficulties or enduring the heat of a very intense trial? We are his. How do we know we hit? we're his? Because he gave someone else's life for ours. Why did he do this? because we, you, are precious to him and he loves you. And that loving sacrifice gives us such freedom. Um, we don't deserve it, uh, we didn't earn it, and there's nothing we could do to ever repay it. We have it, we possess it by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, for God's glory alone. So if you're like Israel and like I was so many years ago, um, where you're kind of going through life and you're wondering, does God see you? Does he even know what you're going through? Take heart, read this passage again and listen to God's gentle voice say, you are precious to me and I love you. God bless you guys.